Hi, my name's Melanie Allen and I'm the Head of Faculty for Learning Support and Student Wellbeing here at Thomas Rotherham College. Most of you watching this video will have disclosed to us that you had some sort of support at school or that you had some arrangements during your exams like use of a reader, extra time or a separate room or something like that. Or you may be wanting to tell us something, something else that you think might impact you being at Thomas Rotherham College. At this time of year, normally we will be inviting you into college to meet the team and to just generally get to know the layout of the college and meet some key people. Unfortunately, obviously we're not able to do that at this time because of lockdown. Um, but we've prepared a video where we've introduced you to key people, key places around college to help start familiarising you with the people that you'll come in contact with. If as a result of lockdown there's something else that you feel that you're concerned about that may have an impact on you studying at Thomas Rotherham, please let us know. It may be that you've started suffering from poor mental health or you've become very anxious around large groups of people. We want to know so that we can support you when you start here with us. At the end of the video, there'll be contact numbers of all the names of my team members, email addresses, so please don't hesitate to contact us and let us know about your concerns or any questions that you may have. I look forward to seeing you. Welcome to Thomas Rotherham College. My name is Melanie Allen and I'm the Head of Faculty for Learning Support and Student Wellbeing. We understand that coming to Thomas Rotherham is going to be a big change for a lot of you and maybe you're feeling a little bit anxious about it. Hopefully this video in which we'll look at meet some key people and look at some key places will help you with that transition in coming on to college because we want your time to be happy and successful here at Thomas Rotherham. Please come in. This is the first area that you'll come to and this is the college reception. At the college reception you'll meet Susan. This is Susan and Susan can be really helpful to you in your time here. She will be here most of the time, although there will be other members of the student services team from time to time. One of the things that students tell us when they move on to Thomas Rotherham, that it's very easy to get lost. So what I suggest you do is to use the reception as your go-to area if you do get lost and just keep coming back to Sue and she'll direct you in the uh, right direction for wherever you need to go. Also, you might be directed to the reception uh, to pick up a timetable if you've got any other queries. But the other thing that Sue will be looking for is if you've got your lanyards on. Now, lanyards are really important here in college and it's about keeping you safe. So you need to wear your lanyard at all times. You will have a, a red lanyard staff are easily distinguishable from their black lanyards so Sue will be checking on that as you're coming into college. This is the main part of the building and any rooms within this part of the building will start with an M. Right, so we're going to leave Sue for a minute and go down what we refer to as the Moon Corridor. The Moo Corridor is where you will find the first aid room. It's also the, where we've got the room where you may do some of your exams. If you have the use of a reader or you use a word processor in your exams, the room down here will be where you would do that. Let me just show you, please follow me. So this is where that would happen. 
in this room here, we have one of our teachers, Jason. Yes, it's a very good question. Well done. Hi, Jason. Ellie, do you agree? Yes. Yeah. Very good point. Well done. Hi. We work very closely with our teachers up in the, the class department, which is part of the learning support and student wellbeing faculties. And it's all about the teacher and my team helping you to get the best from your subjects and getting the highest grades. So before we go to the LRC, we've come from main reception again. I just want to point out the use of the lift so if you have mobility problems and you find stairs difficult use the lift and the lift will go up to the first floor of the LRC and to the second floor of the LRC which is where we're going now We're now on the ground floor of the LRC and on the ground floor you've got access to various journals from different subject areas. The teachers may ask you to refer to those. We've got some fiction, fiction corner where in spare time maybe you want to borrow those books, free time. There are various DVDs that you can rent. Textbooks from all your subject areas. There'll probably be one in particular that uh, teachers will refer to. There's a careers library over in the far corner. So when it comes to looking at what you're wanting to do when you leave Thomas Rotherham, there are various university prospectus is there, information about apprenticeships. And there's facility for quiet individual study. Right, so when you're not in lessons, you'll have some uh, free time on your timetable. We call it um, individual study time and you may come up here and use one of these computers to do some assignment or some essay writing in that time. So there are computers here. There's a self-service laptop facility where if all the computers are taken, you can take a laptop out. But there's also further individual study space as well up here. You don't need to book to come up in this area. At the back of the top floor of the LRC, you'll also find where the progress tutors are. You will have a progress tutor while you're here with us. And what that person will do is check your progress will support you, may direct you to other areas in college where you can get further support with certain areas um, that you're struggling with. They'll help you with your UCAS application when you're moving on and leaving us. Uh, and you'll also discuss career plans with them. So we leave the second floor of the LRC and we go up to the IT suite where class are based. Upstairs in the IT suite is where the class team are based. Let's go in and meet the team. Susan's here. Hiya, I'm Susan. Hi, 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 Susan. H
Susan, I'm a learning support teacher in class. Um, I'm here to help you make sense of the work you've been given to do, um, help you to get into a structured daily routine, which I think is really important. Um, I'm help to here to help you understand exactly what you've got to do and how you're going to do it. Um, we also liaise with your subject teachers uh, to try and avoid any mixed messages or confusion. If you do, we've got lots of organisation methods to help you to get past this. We're a really friendly, familiar base where you can come up and do your work in between lessons as well as structured times with me. Um, but it's also a good opportunity for any of those questions that you've got that are built up all day or all week to get some answers to them. I look forward to meeting you. Let's meet another member of the team. Michelle's here. Hi. This is where I work. And for some of you, starting somewhere new can be daunting and stressful. Anxiety can be triggered at any time and I'm here alongside everyone else to make your journey at TRC smooth and stress-free as possible. If you have any issues that are causing you concerns, just come up and find either myself or another member of the team and let us know what is worrying you. We can then either guide you to the right department or person, but if you don't feel confident enough to go on your own, we can mediate with the person for you. Nothing is too much trouble, so don't be afraid to come and find us. Another service that we can offer up here in class is uh, dyslexia support. So if you've previously had exam access arrangements, um, a dyslexia assessment, we can offer that. I'm one of the learning support teachers, as Susan is, uh, but I'm also a dyslexia specialist. So we can have a discussion about that and we can talk about different support methods that may help you whilst you're here at college. So here's another member of the class team, Nathan. Hi guys, I'm here to talk to you about TR Active. Uh, TR Active is a programme of extracurricular activities um, which we have put together. We do it with you as well. Um, the reason we did it is it's to develop friendship groups and confidence. Uh, they are small groups, so it's nothing to be intimidated by. Uh, an example of the activities that we've done this year include uh, Mario Kart tournaments, uh, a book club, running club, and Just Be You, which is arts and crafts. Uh, other examples of things that we've done previously include non-contact boxing, uh, rock climbing, kayaking. So there's literally something for everyone. We'd love you to get involved in it. And if you've got any suggestions of something that we could do which has not been put on at the time, please let us know. Uh, I look forward to meeting you in September. when maybe college gets a little bit too much or there's something that you're dealing with at home that you're really really struggling with and would appreciate talking to somebody. In college we have two trained counsellors that you can see, you can book a session with them and it's one-to-one -one and confidential. The counsellors are located up in student services. student services. The student services team can be really helpful for a variety of reasons. If you have any travel queries or if you'd like to ask any questions about finance, the bursary, make a careers appointment or work placement appointment or you have a query about your timetable. If you come to the student services desk they can direct you where you need to go further. Services Admin Manager is Karen Robinson and you may need to come and see Karen on occasion maybe to discuss um, a bursary query or you may need to come and discuss a safeguarding issue with Karen. Karen is on the safeguarding team. 
I'm sure you've all heard enough from Melanie now. My name's Joel, I'm the Vice Principal. I'm gonna come and show you down the corridor of power. The teachers call it the corridor of doom. We know that, they think we don't. I'll show you some of the people who work down here. So this is the corridor of power. This is where all of the senior leadership team work. We've also got some other offices. In here, it's very, very purple. It's my office. This is the lovely Gail. Gail might give you a wave if you're lucky. There she is. And Mr. Nesbitt, who's the CEO, his office is behind that closed door. Far too important to be open. In here, we've got other people hard at work. This is Andy Amory, he's one of our assistant principals, Hello. working with Sarah on a very exciting spreadsheet. And then through here, more important people down there. And the final three members of SLT are Chris Walls, who's one of our assistant principals. Mandy Blow, assistant principal and Emma Shakespeare, assistant principal. So the last person I want to introduce you to on this corridor is Russell Gray. And I work closely with Russell to make sure that any extra time, reading entitlement, anything that you've had in your previous exams is in place for you here at Thomas Rotherham. As you see, we've now come back to the reception area and we're going to go up to the study area. We're now going to walk through to the Chancellor's Building. If your one of your lessons is in the Chancellor's Building, it will be beginning with a C on your timetable. to walk round to the sports centre and the AstroTurf. This is a really, really big area uh, and it may be where you spend your lunch and break and you meet up with friends. It gets really quite busy and can be quite noisy. Um, but one of the nice things is that it's big enough for us to hold events in. So any mental health awareness week activities we would hold in here. We do a Christmas karaoke, but all sorts of events happen in the if you need somewhere quieter to sit and have your lunch, um, there is an area up in the class department where you can sit and either get on with some work or you can sit quietly and eat your lunch if you don't want to be somewhere that becomes quite noisy. then go through the double doors and come to Woodhurst 
And again, on your timetable, those rooms will be indicated with a W at the beginning of them, or the tech block, and those rooms will be in indicated with a T at the beginning of the room uh, name. And then in the corner here, we have the sports centre. We've come to the end of our tour now. I really hope you found it useful. Um, at the end of this video, I've included all the email addresses for the members of the class team that you've met today. So please don't hesitate to email us with any questions or concerns that you have about coming to TRC. I hope to see you in September and I look forward to working with you.